Do all of you guys' pants when you shave? Like shorts? Our stuff runs too Because even the regular fits me. No. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. This is T minus 40 hours before I go to Paris, and your girl has no clothes. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. There was a family emergency with my stylist, and that kind of interfered with getting clothes. This is also another reason why. I'm not gonna say the last minute, but yeah. <sighs> so now I'm freaking out trying to find clothes. This is why I look like this. I look a hot mess. But I'm going to bring you along this journey. Why? Because this is the life of Brittany Elena. <sighs> so I went home and kind of gathered myself. <laughs> I realized I really be looking a hot mess when I be out the house. And I really need to stop doing that. Because there are some times when I've actually gotten recognized. Which is still kind of crazy to me. So I said, let me just get myself together. I head to the mall. So I had put a post up on Instagram. And I had, you know, requested for people, you know, last minute for like styling services and stuff like that. And I did not know that someone um, that is a part of the basketball community, her name is Chantel, that she is a stylist up and coming, goes to school for it and everything. So I was like, oh, so she offered to like go shopping with me. So I'm super thankful. Um, talking to a few other people also. So it's going to be just like a team collaboration. So right now I'm about to go to Glendale Galleria and then um, we're going to do some shopping. I think some clothes are better than none. I have to figure out the rest in Paris cool even though I don't want to I'd rather just have everything as much as possible here um so we shall see ladies and gentlemen here we go first store right now I walked in because it was like right in the beginning when I first walked into the mall I'm at Express so we're gonna look they have a bunch of sweaters and stuff I think this is cute cute right here it's about to be mad cold and I don't want to freeze my patootie off. But we're going to see. Y'all, yeah, she's here. Yay. Hi. She literally pulled all the way from like Palmdale. I was like three that days away. Three, <laughs> three days away. Three days. So, yes, this is Chantel. So, if you're in LA, you know, a new up and coming stylist, she'd be cute. Dog. I was like, it makes sense because you'd be cute. Thank you. You know, so she's going to help me with a couple of outfits and stuff right now. Mm -hmm. This is the first store. So, we're going to probably, probably try to get like what? Three? Good. Sorry, it's home for me, so we're gonna split some time. Yeah. Let's go, we're gonna see. Y'all, she approved. Let me try it. She approved. Try it, not bad. She approved. She approved. Not us looking at stuff, we're like, this is, this is $78. <laughs> I could get this at the Goodwill Damn. for about $10. <laughs> Let's go have fun with the Listen, yeah. I am responsible with my money. That's it. Where the clearance at? Where that's my section. That's 49 cents of spilt milk dripping all over my table. Somebody gonna drink this milk. This, this one, my, look at that. The 60. <laughs> it's, just, it's just not warm. That, that's the only problem. Okay, no wonder it's 60. It's not in season. It's not in. <laughs> it is. Of course not. They always got either too, too, too small or. <laughs> We're finding options, y'all, in our section. Y'all, we got like 60% off almost everything. Express is the place to go. After Christmas sales, they got like for the outfits you're gonna see. I will tell you this you are fortunate no yeah that's that's what we were having issues with is the sizes so that's why do all of you guys have pants when you shoot like shorts our stuff runs through the size because even the regular fits me okay no all right y'all store number two in zara her babe like she said we're trying to find me something for with this jacket and like maybe like one or two street wears but Huh? With these shoes, maybe, 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 maybe. Uh -huh. And I might get these because she said she got these and they weren't this price. They were a lot more, so I might get. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we got, y'all, right here in this big old store. That's crazy. 
Perfect, I got everything. All right. Oh wow, oh wow, okay. This is different, it's new. This is so weird. What? It don't work. <laughs> I'm like, this is self-checkout, but it's really not self-checkout because we still gotta wait. That's crazy. Okay, y'all, so I came home, dropped stuff off, and um, I had to go get Nike and Diva from the groomers. I'll be honest, I got a little emotional earlier just because, like, I'm trying my hardest to be more ahead of things, and this happening, like, the anxiety and that I feel right now is just something that I don't want to feel ever again. It's not the best feeling. It makes me want to cry. It makes me emotional. We were able to get three, you know, or maybe, like, four fits today. Um still got to figure out shoes and such but like that's not even nearly as enough when it comes to paris and how long i'm gonna be there I have, like i know i need to have faith and everything but it's just it's a whole nother country you know what i'm saying it's not like it's new york or in the states and stuff like that so it's just making me a little bit nervous but i'm trying to be positive right now i'm super grateful for Chantel to just come and just help me out you know and kind of like affirm some things and what she kind of like helped put together and now I'm going to go meet Monty, who Monty was in my Melody Asani, the stylist for Melody Asani shoot. And go see what we can get from there. But I really want to leave here having like at least eight to nine, eight to like 12 fits. Um, because I 10 days, I change two fits a day. <laughs> and, you know, sneakers and everything, I'm limited. So, but we're going to figure it out. I'm just trying to be positive and stuff and just who i'm in communication with so fingers crossed this is just what's going on in la right now so yeah let's go it is 6 12 so we're gonna head over to the grove try to get things going so yeah i know god got me it's just i think i just want things to be different this year it's going to it's just it's still the beginning of january i'm still trying to figure things out so yeah <laughs> Okay, y'all, part two. All right, Monty's helping me. Okay. We out here. We gonna run it up. We gonna get her some fits. Cause I'm like, yo, you just shop in Paris, but. No, I don't like shopping. She gonna learn to. The shopper, the buyer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is. I despise shopping, but we gonna figure it out. Well, I'm gonna just try it on and, you know. No, we definitely gonna figure it out. You gonna look hot. <laughs> Thank you. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Took over the rack. <laughs> This is how you shop in an hour, even with trying on. Who are you? Uh, Mary Poppins. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> some last minute things right now um honestly chantelle and i did a really good job having fits i was able to even get some stuff out of my closet that i'm going to be able to possibly just bring and then we're going to maybe get some more in paris so right now i'm going to go to my laser appointment i wasn't able to go yesterday because of just everything that happened so i'm just going to handle that and then we are going to get ready to go my car service gets me at 5 50 so it is 9 18 right now and uh, yeah all right y'all we are back at the grove so i got some pajamas yesterday so cute pink of course so right now um i'm gonna go return them and then i'm also gonna get some um some like undergarments i might get some like new undies and stuff because i don't feel like i don't think i'm gonna have time to do laundry and i need some so we're gonna go do that right now Boom, ba -doom. Now at the Beverly Center, I'm meeting up with Monty again just to kind of get some of the last minute things needed. Um, I have not been here in years. <laughs> like when I say years, years. I really try to avoid places that do too much to get in and get out. Like, I don't really like that. <laughs> but we're here, so what we got back in Zara <laughs> Come on. and look look at these you all was like yeah the Jeffries might go back but they were like no we can have some 
Oh, I'm about to fall, y'all. Some action. These is cute and in my size, y'all. Ew. Ew. So we got y'all. I have not been feeling nothing. We've been having so much fun just looking at stuff. And what's so crazy, Chantel sent me a DM of this asking me if I like them. And I was like, yes. And Monty found them. I'm like, they thinking I like. Ew. <laughs> That is so cute. I well, lied to him. I really hate shopping. And I just woke up, so. But Monty's making it fun. I hate shopping. Really? Like, hate shopping. No, she look like she's been enjoying it today. Cause you've been making it easy. Like y'all, both of y'all been making it easy. Listen. And I be doubting myself. Like, is this cute? I don't know how to dress. That's it's so good. It's just about looking. It's really imagining and it's all visual. Yeah, thank you. Cause I'm like, honey, what do I do? But we got some cute stuff. Mm -hmm. She gonna look by. Period. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Ooh. As much as I love this store or the brand, I've never been here. This is so cute. She cute. All right, y'all, it is two o'clock exactly. So I got here 30 minutes, uh, 30 minutes after what I originally wanted to. I wanted to be here by 1.30, but it's okay. I'm gonna try to pack in an hour. Latest hour and 30. So let's go. Y'all gonna not believe this. Wait till I get to my gate, into my seat, and I'll tell you. I would have my gate be mad far. Just rude. Rude.
4 or 5 p.m. their time right now. I got a decent amount of sleep. I'm so happy. Um, going to baggage claim right now. Y'all, your girl is still so much congested. I truly pray it's not a respiratory infection because this congestion is not going away. I don't have like a sore throat. <clears> throat> I don't have a cough or anything. It's just a large amount of buildup. I was trying my hardest to freaking sleep and I couldn't. I'm trying to blow my nose <laughs> over here. So I'm headed to baggage claim to get my stuff. And then we're gonna go to the hotel. And then I'm gonna tell you guys why I'm here. Let's go. Not me being the first one here. never guess what I realized I did when I was checking in my luggage I decided to not bring all my keys just my house key and my key fob just you know just for security reasons your girl forgot to put the luggage lock on my keys so right now I have to figure out how to open up my two luggages <laughs> So we're gonna figure it out. Or your girl ain't about to have no clothes. It's gonna be very interesting. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I was worried I wasn't gonna have any clothes. Thank you, have a good night. <laughs> Yay! <Hi. laughs> Let's go! Press the button for okay. four numbers, anyone. Okay. And lock it. Okay. Lock it where? Well, yeah, yes. And I think uh, it's an error. Okay. I could probably have them. I, I could put another two. Okay. It's locked. So I could change it any other time. Any numbers. Okay. 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 So never bring my passport. Uh, never. No need. No need. Just have a picture of it. You take a scan. Okay. With your iPhone, you can okay. scan. You know the scan. No. You have, you have the scan. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. You can scan. You go to the note, then you ask a uh, scan. You okay. can scan. It's very clear. Okay. Copy. Whenever police scan, you can say I'm in the Meridian. My passport, I for the safe, I'm in the safe. If okay. you want, you come with me. You okay. You can show that one. Okay. And wallet, table thing, Inside. You, you keep here, is take some money. Okay, so only have cash. Cash, cash or, or card. Card or anything. Okay. You put always inside. Okay. Because in the metro, in the pickpockets. I heard. Very, very talented. Yeah, I and heard. And here, the fridge is empty. Okay. It's working. Okay. You, if it doesn't work, you, the work, you can change. Because okay. Because you need 10 days. Yeah. <laughs> Just opposite. There is a supermarket in the basement. Okay. You cross the street in the Palais de Congress. In the basement, you have a supermarket. Nice. Okay. You to can get food. buy jogger, juice, and sandwiches mm -hmm. anytime you can eat. Okay. Because sometimes it's, at ten thirty is finished all. Yeah. Restaurants close. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But if you buy something, you can keep always. You can eat every day. Okay. Uh, I think it doesn't work. I call down. Mm -hmm. They will check. Otherwise, you can okay. change your route. Okay. Sounds good. Enjoy your stay. Okay, yeah. thank you so if much. If you need anything, you ask uh, um, at the concierge. Yes. More things and uh, any towel, something. Okay. Or your water or something, you can ask the concierge. Okay. All right. Thank Enjoy you so your much. Y'all, I'm going to cry. I wanted this so bad and I didn't think I was going to get it. The moment I walk into my room, I have it. Like, um, y'all have no idea. Like, I'm really tearing up right now. Like, look. Oh, my gosh. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm so happy. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, y'all, if you know me, you know, but like, thank you so much, Nike. Like, <laughs> okay, y'all, we are here. So now I'm going to give y'all a little room tour. Okay. Um, so, look, it's so different. Okay. Actually, I kind of feel like I'm in New York. So here we are right here. Okay, got the bathroom. I did this is crazy. It's like different, so it separated that. That's the toilet. Toilet. And then we have this. Yes, right here. Mm, probably gonna have to have give them do my makeup out there. And then that's the closet. Of course, the mirror. Then we have this. And then this is my room. Like I said, it gives like very New York vibes. But I might end up trying to switch rooms to like a double bed just so I can get more space for like my luggage. I know I got mad stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, right now I turn the heater on. I just got off a therapy session. So I am about to kind of like unpack a little bit. Look at this. Still can't believe it. Cannot believe it. Cannot, cannot, cannot. First meal in Paris. Yay. Okay, y'all. Uh, so it is 3.48 in the morning. Um, after everything, I had a couple of phone calls and everything. The room is still cold. I found out, y'all, the hottest temperature that it gets is 22 degrees Celsius. That is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Honey, I am an 85 degree girl. So they gave me covers. <laughs> so right now, um, I'm about to go to sleep. Uh, I'm going to get my hair braided. And then I'm going to update y'all... Uh, in the next video about why I'm here, okay? So stay tuned. I meant to mean, I meant to say tomorrow cause I don't, I think this is gonna be one video. We gonna see, we gonna see. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell y'all when I'm wide awake and everything, I was crying earlier. I recorded it on Instagram. I wasn't sure if I was gonna post it or not. So I'm just trying to just, you know, take videos now in the present time and see if I'm gonna use them to be honest with you. So we're gonna see, okay? So stay tuned, I'm trying to get up in like the next three hours. Let's see. All right. Good morning, y'all. So it's the next day. Um, I decided to try to sleep more. So I went to bed like around 4.30, 4.45 or like was trying to fall asleep. I set my alarm for like, well, it's already 7.15 every day for the most part, unless I end up, my body ends up waking up sooner. I decided just to sleep more because I'm really, really tired, you know, jet lag and everything. So I'm gonna push myself now. I'm getting my, want to get my hair done. It's 10 o'clock right now. So I slept about in and out of sleep for like, mm, a little like four or seven hours. I was like, you know, having weird dreams and stuff. But right now I'm about to get up. I have an appointment at 11. So brush my teeth, um, head downstairs, try to get some food and then come back upstairs to get my hair braided. So. Yay. I know this body gonna look crazy. Mm. Oh my gosh, they have one of those here. <laughs> That's crazy. It honestly scares me a little bit, not gonna lie. This is so cool. This is how they have their honey. That is tough. Wow, that's so cool. Yo, I'm over here lost and this lady is helping me. I'm so grateful. What is this? Meat? Peppermint. Peppermint. Yeah. I have to change this. Okay. Change it? No, it's okay. Yeah, why? No, like this better. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I didn't want to waste the bag. No, this time it's me. Okay. Okay. All right. This is peppermint. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Just have a seat. Okay. I have to go. I'm actually going to go up to my room. I can take the food to my room, right? Normally, no. No, I have to eat here? Yes. Oh, okay. This right. one you can take, take one but not cup. this. Not the okay, yes, ma'am. Yes. Can okay. I sit here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sorry about that. No worries. But, uh, and then I get the honey from there, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Somebody here. Okay, thank you. Okay. I don't think I'm doing this right, but if I am. <laughs> Wait. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think. I do it like this. I think, I, th 
I, I think. We're, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. <laughs> Found a solution. All right, it's okay. Can you never go wrong with a little oatmeal, almond milk, it's a cinnamon, okay? I might end up being snatched going back to LA because I'm trying to be disciplined. I don't even really want to have eggs. Like that's just how much I'm trying to like, I had some on the plane, unfortunately, because I wasn't able, I forgot to um, tell them, I like, put in a request for vegan food. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Hey y'all, Cecile put <laughs> up on me. <laughs> And we're about to get the B. Elena signature braids. It's only right being in Paris and for what I am in Paris <laughs> for. So I was going to do the, you know, the beginning braids where it was just, you know, the four very plain, basic going to the back. But I was like, no, you can put a little razzle dazzle. That's what she said. So we're going to do that. So stay tuned for what we have after. And then um, I'm going to update you guys on why I'm here. Yay. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, y'all. <laughs> she did this with my braids. Like, I'm going to give the phone to her so y'all can just see the full details. Okay? Because <laughs> she did that. Hold on. Details. <laughs> the the baby at work. What <laughs> is <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, y'all. Your girl is braided up. She even gave me a do rag. Like I already had one, but she provided one also. Like she's amazing. If you ever need her, her at is right here. I'm gonna put it on before also too. Um, but yeah, if you need her when you come to Paris, she pulls up on you. Super dope. Super sweet. Very punctual. Um, she even brought me a matcha and a croissant. She's so sweet. So yeah, now let's see, it is 222, 222, 222. So right now I think I'm just gonna chill in the bed before my table read. Yeah, and then I'll be able to tell you guys what I am here for. I know you're like, Britt, can you just say it already? Um, I mean, if you've probably seen some of my stories, you might've already seen it, but uh, yeah, it's just, you know, it's just, dope if I could just show you guys in the moment. So I think the table read will actually be the best place. So yeah, stay tuned. Let's get some work done. Everything in me wants to go to sleep. I wanted to go to, I wanted to, go to the gym too, but I want to wait for my baby hairs. I don't want to sweat those out. Um, so I think I'm just going to relax and just catch up on some work, maybe even take a nap before my table read. Um, and then maybe go to the gym tonight since I have free time. So stay tuned. Hey y'all, so I just woke up from my nap right now. I actually decided just to sleep a little bit longer and I'm really happy that I did. I wanna be, you know, as rested as much as possible to be able to just be fully attentive um, for, you know, tomorrow, tonight. I'm not having a lot of rest, you already know that affects your ability to think and be able to be present. So I'm glad I'm doing that. I am going to be out here for, you know, so quite some time. So I'm not really feeling like I'm having FOMO about, FOMO about anything. My main focus is just this blessing and opportunity to make sure that I fully come, be prepared and ready for tomorrow. So right now I'm headed down for my table read. And uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, hey girl. Mm -hmm. oh. It goes. <laughs> comfortable okay travis scott's look at you i see you with the swag all right <laughs> look y'all i am the first to have these this is what i'm gonna be wearing tomorrow i haven't told y'all what i'm doing yet but this is what i'm gonna be wearing tomorrow shout out to echoes because you know got me dripped out he said i am the only person in this moment that has these in the states they dropped today and i'm the only person gang gang ew, who can really say that Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I tried to record this yesterday and I didn't even finish. I was gonna post the videos from yesterday. I didn't even finish because I was just so emotional and getting distracted. I am in Paris because your girl got selected to talk at the 2024 basketball summit with Nike and talk about my journey. I am the only person on this panel, y'all. There is nobody else in a room full of 40, 50 plus people talk about my journey why basketball has me in the position where i am now why my passion for it as well as women's basketball what we can do 
what they which retailers and brands what they can do to bring more light and notoriety and so much more when it comes to the women's face y'all <laughs> like when i tell y'all i prayed for this i was talking to my therapist about this like i'm always the person interviewing i wanted to be interviewed i wanted to talk about my story i wanted to figure out how to use my platform to on a different level to talk about women's basketball what we can do different and i'm finally getting that opportunity in front of retailers and brands in freaking paris like y'all and i'm tearing i'm getting emotional right now like i prayed for this and i'm just so thankful that nike europe believed in me to reach out to me to do this they've been following my journey and they thought that i was the perfect candidate to be able to do this i love the game so much um there's a reason why like i even want to keep playing like basketball just does something different to just my spirit to my mind to my mental um and you know i always had a dream of playing in college i've always had a dream of doing more in basketball so the fact that i'm still able to do what i'm doing now in the game like that's why i want to utilize my story i want to utilize my passion to motivate others that like if you don't have the chance or the opportunity or even if you're not even athletic basketball can still do so much for you the community of it i love it it's just a family and like i said like i'm just truly grateful to be able to use my story to help others as well as figuring out a way to bring more light for these retailers and these brands to do more in women's basketball. You don't have to be just an athlete. So that is one of the reasons why I'm here in Paris. The second reason, and let me just tell you how God works, okay? Jackie's aunt, Auntie Anne, who um, helped take care of the kids, you know, was a nanny um, who still takes care of the kids now. Uh, she was promised a trip to Paris by Jackie, and they couldn't go because of COVID. They are supposed to go in January of 2020, I believe. And due to Jackie's passing, um, Auntie Anne's dream, okay, um, isn't going to be able to come true. So I said, you know what? I will take you to Paris. I will make that dream come true for you to go to Paris and keep Jay's promise for you. And the dates that she wanted to come were January 10th to January 18th. And I told her, I'm not sure if I'll be able to go with you because I might have work. And here we are. I had gotten um, an email probably like a month later. I forgot when we were talking about Paris, but we were talking about it for so long. And I just kept, I couldn't finalize because I was just worried that there would be so many things going on. And there is a lot of things going on in the States but I got this opportunity to be here. So, and it happens to be at the same time. So it was, it was really meant to be, to be here. And you know, Jackie would probably be here too. But um, yeah, so I'm just really grateful and thankful. And I just know that it, it just affirms that I'm doing everything right. I just got to keep going and keep pushing. And I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited to be able to talk about women's basketball and how I could do better in my story. I'm just so excited. I'm so thankful. <laughs> Y'all, I just got my stuff. It's right here. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It is the day. When I tell you, I got zero sleep last night. The time difference, and then my mind racing, you know, just thinking nervous, and then trying to catch up just on content. I could not focus at all. I'm proud of myself though. It took me a bit to get up today, but it's 9.17. We're getting picked up at 10 o'clock. So I said, you know what? Instead of just trying to come down here and then going upstairs trying to rush to eat, let me get ready first and then go upstairs just so you know I get to try to kind of like prepare myself. Oh my goodness. It is day two of trying to figure out what to eat. 
as a vegan in Paris. Let me figure out my food, hold on. Yeah, I just like, I just haven't been able to focus, you know, little sleep, um, the time change and everything. I'm nervous because I really want to do so good today. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this breakfast. It's 9.30, I'm gonna try to eat this in like the next 10 minutes and then go upstairs to get ready to go. I hired a videographer, his name is Charlie, thanks to Hannah. And I also um, hired uh, Jeffrey and Letty. They were the photographers that took pictures for me um, in New York for Fashion Week when I had on uh, that jean jacket outfit. So they like took the amazing pictures and did so many great things. So they're here and uh, we're working together. So I'm gonna try to get as much content for you guys also, but I'm really excited. I'm trying not to get emotional again, Lord. But well, yeah, man, we're here today. I'm so excited. So stay tuned. I figure out something else. It's gonna be an oatmeal and tea every day type of thing. <laughs> Maybe even an apple, but I'm really trying to be good. I'm trying not to have egg as much as possible and just be really good to Trying, trying, trying. Mm. My guy. <laughs> we got a team team. A team team. Letty. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, y'all. Right now, we are headed to the office for the rehearsal for today. So, oh, oh, oh. 